Hey guys, it's Captain Rogers, and I just wanted to tell you a little bit about the library website um, because I've been posting about it, but not a lot of people have used it. There's only a very small population of people who know about it, so I just wanted to make a video to let you know how to access it and the features that you can um, use on the library website that um, hopefully, you know, during this time of the pandemic and the precautions that we're taking for COVID, uh, you can get some of the resources that you normally would get if we were operating under normal circumstances. So please enjoy the video and always let me know if you have questions. You can email me at brogers at sstx.org and um, you probably also can send me a Schoology message if you just type in my name. That might be an easy way to get a hold of me. So the first thing you need to do is actually visit the library website and that's really easy to do. I've created a shortcut for it and all you have to remember is tinyurl.com slash stingray central. That's the name of our library. So when you get there you will see um, these headings up here, uh, virtual reading, student resources, teacher resources, there's an about the librarian and library blog. I'm going to be honest with you, I haven't updated the library blog in a while. I know. Shame on me. So there's a lot of stuff on the home page for you, though. Uh, if you scroll down, um, I have this slideshow with some resources for Black History Month. So these are books that we have available in the library. And if you want to learn more about this book, you can simply click on the book cover and it will take you to a video about the about the um, book. It's either going to be a book trailer or maybe an author talk where the author of the book is talking or it could be like a first chapter Friday where somebody is reading the first chapter of the book for you. Okay, um, so if you click on any of those, these are the books we have in our library. Additionally, if you would like to check out one of these books, you can click here and it will take you to a form in which you can fill it out and I will check out that book to you and either deliver it to you, deliver it to you if you're here on campus or I will um, arrange if you if you're studying off campus you can uh, have a curbside pickup so you can um, come by and the front office will get it to you okay so you just can complete that form it would be really nice if you send me an email um, my email address is brogers at sstx.org and I will know that you have put something in. I also have some videos and some resources about different things relating to Black History Month. There's some TED Talk videos, some other YouTube videos. Um, here's some really cool stuff that the Smithsonian has about Black Panther and Black superheroes. Um, this is a website for a um, a type of dancing called hip lay. It's a fusion of ballet and hip hop dance. Dr. Medina and I actually got to go see these ladies um, and gentlemen perform live last year um, at the university um, for a Black History Month celebration. Um, so it was really cool. It would be, there's lots of videos linked on their website. And you should check it out. And then lastly, this is a um, a selection of just a few of the books that you can read on Sora, which is our virtual library. Um, and these are this is the same as the other. You can click here and see videos for different um, books and uh, book trailers and things like that. So if you're interested in reading any of these, um, I think most of these are actually available to borrow currently on Sora. There's not a hold or wait list for them. So these are some really good titles that you can read to um, learn more about the Black experience and to understand um, the perspective of um, those who are Black who are living in America or who maybe are living abroad in the world. Another thing you can do as you uh, scroll through the library website, here is the link to order books. Um, these, are others, these are some other books that I've newly placed in the library. I have a lot more to add to the catalog that I'll be working on over the coming weeks. So these will be added to the book flicks um, slideshow. Uh, if there's a book that you want to see if I have, you can put it here and I will let you know whether or not I have that book. Okay, this is kind of uh, just something new that I'm not new. It's I've been on there since last year, but I update this as I finish reading books and as I'm currently reading books. So um, that is a little bit about the library website. I really hope you use it. Um, and 
actually one more thing I want to show you is uh, this is something else that I have uh, started this year. Last year I just made a list of all the books I finished reading in 2020, but this year I'm actually making like a little sideshow. And so these two books are actually books that I finished reading this year. And these two are linked to their public domain because these are so old that they're books you can read online for free without copyright violation. So if you're interested in either of those, you can click that one. This is the one I just finished. I had purchased it as a Kindle book um, off Amazon, and so it links it here. So that wraps up this discussion about how to use the library webpage. If I could ever help you with anything related to books or research, please let me know. I'll be more than happy to help. So that about sums it up. Um, again, like I've said, probably now the third time, if you ever need anything uh, relating to books or research, um, please let me know. I'll be more than happy to help. Um, and yeah, have a great tea.